If you've got one of these, get one of these. Welcome to another episode of Tom's Tube Chan. Now, this is the Rorock 2.0 core and Atlas core, and this is a Chennai Bluetooth button. Now, what this does is it enables you to connect to your phone and remote control your phone, basically. So you're not remote controlling your helmet, as such a remote control on the phone. You can skip tracks, you can play and pause tracks, you can answer the phone and you can turn the volume up and down. What it means is you can stick this on your handlebar rather than fiddling around the back of the helmet to try and control things and crash your bike. So let's have a look how it works and let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so I thought I'd show you on my phone the uh, tune eye button connected. It's pretty straightforward, really. You connect the tune eye button in the same way that you would any other Bluetooth device. If you have a look in here, it's just an input device like a keyboard or a mouse, a Bluetooth mouse or a keyboard that you might get on other Android devices. This works really well on um, iOS devices as well. Actually, apparently it works better than Android devices, although I haven't had any issues. So just to give you an idea of how this works without the helmet, being connected, if we go into something like Spotify, let me see my really bad choice of music now. Now, for example, if we go into play some music, and then we can skip through the tracks using the tune I. Now I'll pause there before I get any royalty issues. The other thing you can do is you can turn the volume up and down and you can even answer calls as well. So basically this button here controls your phone. It doesn't control the helmet. So now what we do is we turn on the helmet, which again would be connected via Bluetooth. So now the helmet is now connected. What I'll try and do is hopefully we can hear. Turn the volume right up on the helmet. So if we play, And we can skip. And we can turn the volume up. Or down because it's already at full volume. Like so. So you basically, you have your remote control button here. Now you're looking at me going, oh, it's no good in your hand. Let me show you the next step. So what the button actually comes with is this little magnetic mounting strap. As you can see, under there just connects with a very small or like a rubber band that goes around the bottom and the top. And then your tune eye button just lives on there like that. So it's great when you're riding a bike, you just bring your hand over and press the controls. Really straightforward little device, easy to use, perfect really for solving the rock shockwave small buttons problem. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you've got a Rock 2.0 I hope that this solves your issues. All the links below for this product, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe and I'll see you next time.